We've come out and it's a really, really nice day, but I've looked over the side and the visibility doesn't look amazing. And with the depth that we're most likely going to be diving here, we won't be able to see the bottom. In this episode, we'll talk a bit about how we try and manage our fears and manage how nervous we might be diving in waters where we can't see the bottom, as well as if there's a chance of seeing a shark. So many people sort of feel embarrassed and feel a bit funny about telling people that they're afraid of diving in an area where they can't see the bottom or the water's dirty. But this is a really, really common thing that people feel. Whether you're a new diver or even really experienced, lots of people still hold these fears or are a bit nervous about it as well. As it's always that sort of feeling of, of unknown when you're in waters that you can't quite see the bottom in. So we'll talk through this episode as well as show some nice footage on how I try and manage those fears and manage being a little bit nervous in some situations. First dive of the day can be a little bit nerve wracking. You've got to sort of break the ice by getting down there and checking out the bottom. You do find when it's really dirty, everyone kind of looks at each other, deciding who's going to dive first, but it does pay to get down there first if you can, because you're more likely to get the fish. I tend to find when I get down there and then get a quick look at the bottom and get a lay of the land, it helps to calm my nerves and get me excited and comfortable for the dives after that. Try and rationalize your fear when you're diving too because even though the water's dirty, it doesn't mean that a shark's just gonna appear out of nowhere at every waking moment. You'll actually find when you see a shark, if you haven't seen one before, it's a bit of an anticlimax as they're not they're really just waiting to attack you like people sometimes think they are. Normally they're going to be more scared of you than you are of them. Do my best to always stay on top of Sophie when she's diving and she does the same to me. Keep an eye on your buddy when you're diving together. Safety in numbers always helps boost confidence when you're in the water and make you feel a little bit more comfortable when you're diving in dirty water or if there's a shark around. Make sure you dive with buddies that you really trust that are keeping an eye on you so you always know on the way back to the surface your buddy's going to be there nice and close to you. In this situation we're diving in a three as there's only three of us on the boat but it tends to be a bit safer especially on this weed edge where it's a little bit too dirty to see the bottom. John's first up with a really nice boar fish. Was there any others down there? No, I was sitting next to a big boar eye. Oh, I was just it? I saw another tail and I'm like, and she was chilling out with the boar, I thought it was her boyfriend. <laughs> Throughout the day, we had beautiful big schools of kingfish swimming up to us and swimming around us. Today, not a target species, as we didn't need that much fish, but it's always a welcome sight.
it's really it's really normal to be nervous and a little bit scared diving in dirty water. I certainly feel the same, especially when it's really dirty. But a few techniques I try and use to try and calm myself. I try to envisage what the bottom's going to look like rather than getting too hyped up and afraid of what I'm going to encounter. So when I'm lying on the surface breathing up, I'll start thinking about what it's going to look like on the bottom, maybe think about the fish that I might see, even half close my eyes. This is going to help you feel a lot more comfortable and it's going to help with your breath hold too. Because if you're scared and you get all wound up, it's going to cut your breath hold right, right down. And also what you'll find is fish and, and sharks, being a fish as well, will react really good if you're nice and comfortable in the water. So trying to be calm, trying to reduce that stress level from being a little bit afraid is going to do wonders for your diving. Again, some more schooling kingfish on the surface. And especially in this scenario when we can't see the bottom, this is exactly what we're looking for. That'll be a good...
don't be embarrassed or, or nervous if you do find yourself being a little bit fearful of the dirty water or where you can't see the bottom because it's something that everybody experiences. You do get a select few that don't seem to be scared of anything but most of us are pretty scared if we get into some dirty water or places we can't see the bottom but the best thing to do is to stay calm as you can. Think about different things like I was saying visualizing what the bottom might look like when you get down there and that's going to help lower your heart rate and it's going to make you a lot more comfortable and then in turn the fish around you and the environment around you is going to react in a really good way. So then you're most likely going to reduce encounters with sharks and if you do get encounters with sharks they're going to be good ones.